and a very good day to you and welcome to the program. We are situated in a beautiful kiwi orchard. It belongs to my oldest son and you can see already the, the, the little buds are starting to form and so we are trusting God for some beautiful fruit. If you hear some whistling, it'll just be the wind blowing through the, the overhead canopy. But what a beautiful spring day it is. I want to speak to you about a very touchy subject. A subject that we need to sharpen up on because if we don't, we'll be keeping people out of the kingdom. Okay, we've got to let our walking do the talking. And I'm talking particularly today to those who love Jesus and who are called by His name. If we go to Titus, the book of Titus chapter 2 and one verse, verse 12, teaching us that denying ungodliness and worldly lusts, we should live soberly, okay, righteously, okay, and godly in this present age. We've got to deliver, folks. We've got to live what we're talking about. And then if you go to the book of Luke, the gospel of Luke chapter 17, and I am going to be reading from verse 17. Luke 17 and verse 17. My, I really do love the word of God. It is my everything. It's my bread. It's my water. It's everything I do. Luke 17, 17. And so Jesus answered and he said, Were there not ten cleansed but where are the other nine were there not any found who returned to give glory to God except for this foreigner now the Lord Jesus had healed ten lepers completely healed only one came back to say thank you and he wasn't even a Jew he was a Samaritan I want to say something to you that hurts me. Sometimes unbelievers put Christians to shame when it comes to good manners and good ethics. Folks, we really need to sharpen up. I really mean that. I'm talking to myself as well, not just to you. Okay, we've really got to work on our good manners. We've got to be just plain honest, some of us. Integrity stands very high in God's economy. Godly integrity is badly needed in these days in which we are living. I want to tell you a little story to illustrate that. Years ago, I went to America and I had the privilege of speaking on Pat Robertson's show, The 700 Club. Now, Pat Robertson is an honorable Christian man. He's very old. I think he might even be close to his 90s now. And he's still going strong. He's a big inspiration in my life. Pat Robertson has formed a huge university. It's called Regent University. People are lining up all over the world to get into that university. And I want to tell you a true story. A young man applied for a full bursary. He was obviously very clever. And they approved him by letter. And he was ecstatic. He was so happy. Anyway, he packed up all his goods, said goodbye to mom and dad, got on the plane and flew there. I think it's in Virginia. And he arrived at Regent University. He went into the registration office. It's a huge university. I remember jogging around there. They've got a hotel on the, on, the, on the campus. And it's huge. And he walked in and he said to the lady, I've arrived. What's your name? John Smith. She looked up. She said, sorry, John. Your application has been declined. He said, why? I've got the letter of acceptance. She said, you, ne you never said Thank you. It was declined. Don't forget to use Christian integrity. God bless you and goodbye. 